Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinkers here. Uh, today I am on, I finished the design on my last piece of custom printed stuff to adapt the 101 Hero uh, frame to higher quality motors and stuff. And Normal disclaimer, this is for fun, it's a hobby. I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you want a fun hobby or you have all these parts sitting around. But I figured I show you, you all, all y'all, <laughs> what it is. So this is NEMA 14 motor, stepper motor, which can be driven by a normal ramps board. It's smaller than NEMA 17, which actually makes it fit better. It's not as powerful, but it doesn't really need power for this thing. We'll, we'll tune it down at some point. But, it'll let me go in and uh, try it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. My next video will be of it working right now. I want to show you how to install my NEMA 14. So, you start off by taking out the uh, timing belt which drives whichever axis you're replacing. I'm, of course, this is the last of the three, and I'm sorry you can't really see it, but you pull it forward and you twist it around and eventually it'll pop out. And make sure you're not to break the uh, arms. I don't want to have to replace them. There we go. Free sliding. Couldn't see that, but it's off of this. It's a uh, edged bearing and then just another little bearing. Not the best, but not the worst either. I'm going to reposition you and I have to step on the other side. <clears throat> so there's two little uh, screws in there. They're a socket head. They take a three millimeter socket. I'm sorry, I can't really, well, let's see, can I position it? There you go. The two on either side. Um, I try to use as much of the original parts as possible. Just because I don't have metric stuff here for the most part. Sorry, my camera decided to turn off. Anyways, um, back to what I was saying. Well, I only have the most common sizes, which right now is just M3. I don't have M4, M5. I think I figured out these are M4. So, you have the motor with its geared tooth. If you don't have geared tooths, you'll need this. There is also a... So, keep both those... Now you can pull out if you want. Yeah, this one's really stuck in there, ain't it? There it goes. Pull out the insert that they have, and then there's a uh, bearing in here. You can always, if it stays in there, if the bearing stays, you can all leave it in. It goes in just as well, but I'll take it out so we can show you. Then you put this back, and then you put the screws in and tighten them down the entire way. And as I said, sorry, not going to see it real well because of the angles and gravity. There it goes. Okay. Come on. All the way in. It's not even starting. Hold on. Okay, I guess I have to flip around so I can see. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, I can. I'm trying not to destroy the frame itself. There it goes. Tight. Other screw. As you can see, I've done the other two already. This is my last one. I wanted to make sure it fit. The only thing that's weird is it goes from easy to spin when not installed to being a bit stiff. So, 
Hopefully the steppers are strong enough to overcome whatever friction is in here. Okay. <clears throat> that part's in. This is solid. Poke the belt back down through just so you don't have to go find it later. And move on to preparing the stepper itself. So I print mine with uh, uh, support. Because otherwise the sags and stuff will be even more extreme than what it is. It's a pretty close to a press fit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer the better. I just use a pair of pliers to... Uh, Wow, this one's really holding on. Okay, other one? I'm just kind of twisting it out. There we go. Let's try this one again. There it goes. Just clean up the other spots. I see there's some stuff in there. These holes don't get support because they're paying the butt to get them out and it doesn't really matter okay now how I designed this was you can have the wires point up sideways right doesn't matter then all the different various steppers should fit but if not might have to cut a slot and it snapped into place in the inner ring Grab a screw. Mine that I have are just the same as what's in here. It's the cap head, the socket head. And I've only been using two. We'll see if I need to put in all four. I mean, if I put it together once, I can take it back apart and put it together again. Oh, it, uh, it shoves some uh, stuff out and is jamming it. Okay. Fine, that's fine. We can fix that. Let's get my... Literally had them in my hands. Okay. Okay, that should fix it. I hope. This one, of course, is the only one that's been giving me issues. The other two went in great. And I think because it's not sitting flat, I'm going to put in at least three screws. Yeah, it's not sitting flat here. So, another one goes in, actually, real quick. I see some junk, junk in there. It might have tried to do a little bit of support structure. It's hard to tell. Oops, wrong one. Here it is. Sorry, this is so boring. I'll try to get done as soon as possible. And then I'm just going to do one of the bottom ones because they're not, well, they're important, but I think the overall support of this unit is going to be just overkill for what it's going into. Okay, two parts need added. One is your 16 geared, 16 tooth timing belt gear. Uh, I have extras of these, so I'm not pulling them off, but uh, you can just pull them off here. Actually, slightly higher quality than the ones I have. That's slightly surprising. But they're the same number of teeth, which is important. So this one goes the fat end on first. You want the gear as far out as possible. And then I've been putting it on about even with the edge of the plastic. So you can, if you can see that. And you want one of the... Uh, 
set screws, grub screws to hit the flat part on the shaft if you have a flat part. Not all of them do. That might be why. Hmm. All right. And then because I pulled out the little bearing, it just kind of pops on. And no, it doesn't go the whole way through. The shaft is a little short for the ones I have. And because the screws under here are on, should just be able to pull the belt up and even, line it up, and then mine, well, we'll see. Yep, there it goes. Okay, it found its home. And once it is there, the two screws on the bottom, which I don't know what size these are. I had them laying around and unlabeled. They are 4.25 millimeter. Or, oh, they're a... Hmm, well, I don't know what that is. 1.168 inches outside diameter. They're sheet metal screws, though. So whatever you have that will hold into the holes here. Which these holes are for holding the base plate on, on the top, but they go the whole way through. So we can use them. is just to hold everything in place and I think this is severely over engineered but I'm not an engineer so most of my stuff is over engineered because I'm afraid of breaking things or it might be under or it might just be plain screwed up we'll see as I said I haven't had a chance to test these other than everything fits together Okay, the hardest part now is just getting this belt back on, which I find using, pulling it up, using an Allen wrench to pull it through this gap here. Ah, as I said, it's, it's a bit of a pain. There, no, no, oh, 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 oh. Once you get it on this, the, here, not that bad. Frick. There she goes. Almost okay. Oh, and this one's letting me just kind of shove it on. Did I lose? Okay, yep, I lost the... Uh, there is a spring that holds these things tight. And this one's missing it. So it is on the bench somewhere. It's going to be real fun to put back once I find it. So that's installing it. If it's like the other ones I have... I actually get a bit really, really stiff. Um, did I rip it out? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do is finish removing the uh, 101 Hero Electronics here. I'll find that spring, finish putting it together. I have to convert these over so that the pins are next to each other instead of two apart. Up oh, there's a the spring. Found the spring. Uh, if I, and hopefully I only lost. No, okay, the other one's there. So how do I put this back? You might. Can I get you to see it? Okay, you see the spot there that I'm going to be putting this back supposed to pull itself. 
So that goes like that. It goes in that tooth there. And this one, ow, ow, stabs you a lot. Okay, back on. And it's moving a bit. Anyways, that's my stepper install. It's clean off the bench as stable as it was before, which I need to reinstall this cross strut because I think that's going to help again. Anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching. Keep tinkering.